Welcome to Cryptonomics. NEO has been called the Chinese Ethereum, but does it live up to that name? And why has it been booming? So NEO is a blockchain for decentralized applications and smart contracts like Ethereum. And a smart contract is a protocol that allows decentralized agreement between two parties. So before smart contracts, when two parties wanted to make an agreement, they wrote a contract. But to validate this, they needed a third party, which was often a lawyer. This was both costly and time consuming. Using a platform for smart contracts, the third party can be eliminated and still retain credible agreements. The NEO platform has two different tokens, NEO and GAS, which are both capped at 100 million tokens each. The NEO token functions basically as shares in the NEO ecosystem. They are indivisible and holding them will give you voting rights and dividends in the form of GAS. Well, gas is paid to deploy and run smart contracts, and the fee is supposed to be proportional to the computing resources consumed by the contract. In the ICO, 50 million NEO tokens was released, and 50 millions were kept and locked up until October 16th of 2017. The remaining tokens will be managed by the so-called NEO Council, which is made up of the founders of NEO. These tokens will be used to support and maintain the NEO ecosystem. Gas is generated at a rate of 8 gas per block mine and decreases by one token every 2 million blocks. In the year 2039, the final gas will have been mined, and the total supply of gas will have reached 100 million. It should be noted that creating a smart contract on a NEO network is rather expensive. Right now, the cost is 500 gas. And with the recent boom in both the NEO and gas prices, this is almost $30,000. Not a small sum of money if you want to write a simple contract. And you can check out all the fees on the NEO network by checking out the link we put in the description of the video. NEO uses a consensus mechanism called Delegated Byzantine Fault Tolerance, or DBFT for short. For comparison, Bitcoin uses proof of work as a consensus mechanism. But what is the DBFT? DBFT allows the participants in the NEO ecosystem to designate certain nodes as bookkeepers, which in turn must keep a minimum balance of NEO and meet the certain performance requirements. A block is validated if two thirds of the nodes in the network agrees upon the version of the blockchain that the bookkeepers are keeping. If the attempt to reach consensus fails, another bookkeeper in the network be will be called and this process will be repeated until the blockchain is verified. But this consensus doesn't have to be replicated on the whole network, just a subset of it, which means the network uses fewer resources and can handle higher transaction volumes. With this consensus mechanism, NEO is able to handle over a thousand transactions per second, with future goals reaching over 10,000 transactions per second. Compare this to Ethereum's 15 transactions per second or Bitcoin's 7 transactions per second. Disregarding the general altcoin hype which is spread across the crypto market and the points that were made about NEO already, like gas dividends, there are several reasons why NEO's price has been booming. First of all, NEO has a very rigorous selection process for the tokens that want to ICO on the network. This is contrary to other ICO platforms which will let anyone ICO even if it's an outright scam. The result? successful ICOs for promising projects, and this in turn has gained the investors' trust. NEO has successfully launched several ICOs on the platform, which has garnered a lot of attention for NEO. The most noteworthy are Red Pulse, RPX, which is a production, distribution, and consumption platform for the Chinese capital markets, and Deep Brain Chain, DBC, and AI Blockchain. Both coins have quickly risen to the top 100 on the coin market cap. And this is just the start. NEO has dozens of decentralized applications and ICOs planned for 2018. Secondly, NEO and gas transactions are cheap and fast. Currently, a transaction of either coin takes around 24 seconds and is free between wallets and some exchanges like Binance. After the dramatic increase in transaction fees for Bitcoin, a lot of investors were searching for alternatives to transfer their money either to a wallet or to another exchange. NEO is a very hot coin for transactions right now. Finally, certain exchanges have introduced NEO as a base currency in the currency pairs. Previously, most exchanges were using Bitcoin and Ethereum as the base currencies, but with the introduction of NEO, well, the transaction volume has risen dramatically. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And please leave a comment.